Hi, everyone. It is Realtor Mike Thomas here in Palm Beach County, Florida, giving you the update uh, for actually November. We're always about a month behind, and because of the Thanksgiving holidays, uh, the reports came out of around that time. Um, I was actually spending some time with family, so please forgive me. It is December 1st, uh, 2022, and we have the market report for November, I mean for October. Now, November does come out, but it's also going to be right before Christmas that it's going to come out. And I will do my best to give you that report before Christmas uh, for the November report. And then in January, we actually have what we call a year in report, which shows the entire year what happened. So you really, really want to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you're not going to miss that one. And it's probably going to come out somewhere around January 20th, 22nd, uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. So let's get started. What you're seeing on the screen right now is Broward County, and I'm going to do uh, Miami, Broward. Uh, I always save Miami for last, the best for last, of course. So we're going to do uh, Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin County, and St. Lucie County, as we always do. And this is a fantastic report for you to look at and see these numbers. So what you're seeing on my screen is... Um, the MLS reports that come out every single month for us shows these statistics and it shows what was it this time last year over this time this year. So this is October 2021 right up here over October 2022 or right over here. So let's get started. So we are up 10.4% on single family homes. See, we have single family homes right here. And we are up 10.4% in prices. So what does that mean? Well, everybody's talking about the real estate market is coming down. It's crashing. It's doing this. It's doing that. It's doing the other thing. And it might be in certain areas of the country. It might be in Michigan or maybe in, you know, some other state, Kansas, Arkansas. I don't know where real estate prices are coming down. But right here in our neck of the woods, southeast Florida, which is on the Atlantic side, um, going from about uh, south of Orlando all the way down to the Florida Keys, um, we are seeing an increase of 10.4% over last year. That means if you bought a home last year uh, and you wanted to buy that same exact home or the medium sale price of a home, Last year was 489,000 right here. And uh, October of this year, uh, same month, one year later, $540,000, up 10.4%. What does that tell us? Real estate prices are continuing to rise. Now, here is the catcher. Uh, inventory is definitely up. So if we're looking at this year over last year, right over here, we're seeing that inventory is up 73% over last year, and it's taking longer to sell a home. So sellers are, you know, sellers are selling their homes at a higher price. It's just taking longer to sell. And let me give you, and at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion on what happened in 2021 um, what was the craze and is real estate markets coming down? I've been in real estate for uh, almost 30 years come January. And so I'll give you what I think is going on with this real estate. I'll give you a summary at the end. OK, so stay tuned to the end of this video because uh, it's going to have some really great information. So townhouses and condos are right down here. Uh, let's bring that up a little bit. Townhouses and condos. Of course, this is what it was for October. We are in October right here, uh, 2022 versus October 2021. And single family home prices, the medium price of a home um, is 262000 Last year, the median price of a home was 227550 up almost 15% over last year. That doesn't sound like prices are coming down to me for Broward County. So let's continue to look because to get a total picture 
we really need to look at all four uh, five counties, I'm sorry, four or five counties to get a great picture of what's going on. So this is Broward County and the home prices. Um, now there is more supply. It takes uh, 2.4 months of inventory to sell now uh, to get the higher price. But some sellers are thinking, well, I can wait another two or three uh, weeks to sell my home if I'm going to get the price I want. So inventory is up 26.3% on townhouses and condominiums for Broward County. The rest of the information is how long does it take to go contract, what's the inventory, homes closed. Not really relevant at this point. We're just looking at home prices. Are home prices going up or down? And uh, leave a comment below if you want me to go over that because that's going to be another video and it may be a little bit lengthier than what I would uh, you know look at. But here we are, Palm Beach County, uh, October uh, 2022, of course. And again, single family homes right here, uh, 2022 versus 2021 of October. And last year in October, you were able to buy a house for $500,000 uh, this year. Uh, in 2022, it was up $70,000 to $570,000 was the median price of a house, up 14% over last year. That does not sound like, you know, real estate prices are coming down for Palm Beach County. That's on a single family home. And so uh, we look at how long does it take to sell? Now it took 3.2 months to sell a house versus one month and 1.3 months to sell a house. So it is taking longer to sell a house, but they're still getting the higher prices. So sellers are probably not as eager to sell. I mean, homes are not selling within days like they were before. So I do see something what's going on there. And uh, let me just switch over to this because let me go back to Broward County real quick. This is a spreadsheet that I made and it shows what the median price of a home is, median price of a home uh, in January, February, March. See, the numbers are going up five, almost 600,000 in July. Uh, July was probably the peak of the market. Um, did come down, went back up, and came back down a little bit. So the question is, is what's going on here? Is it... Is it coming down? Is it not coming down? Um, normally there would be a lot more red. So I'm eager to see what November and December are like, if that's gonna be in the red or not in the red. But year to date, the average price of a home is 556,750 for Broward County. And in January, it was 500,000. So that means it's still up 55, 56,000, almost 57,000 over last over the beginning of the year. And the same thing here um, in January, if you bought in January, it would have been 400, I mean, 240,000. Uh, and now the year to date average is 253,900. Um, so that's what's going on way there. Typically speaking, July and August are really good months for real estate, and it's because people who are moving like to move in the summer months. Why? Most people have kids and families, and you're not going to take your kids out in the middle of the school year. So you normally put your home on the market, let's say in May or June, and you end up selling in July or August. Uh, and people are buying in July and August to get their kids in a certain school district. So if you're going to make a move May, June, and July, if you have a family and you're worried about school districts, this is the area that you're probably focusing on, on making that move and maybe to another school district um, or, you know, whatever your needs might be. But this keeps, um, this keeps people from moving their families during a school year. And so real estate in general, May, June, July, and August are great months to move. So let's take a look at Palm Beach County. 
real quick. Here we are at Palm Beach County in the beginning of the year in January, the average or median price of a home was uh, 526,500. The year to date average is 575,350, which basically means you still made money uh, or you still are in the black instead of the red here. Even though there are some red marks here for Palm Beach County, you notice that they're not all consecutively in a row. And that's very, very important when you're looking at these numbers. So again, the height, June, why? Because people are moving during that time. It's typically normal and expected for June, July, and August to see some high numbers because people are moving during that time. Uh, townhouses and condominiums, 265 versus 290. You're still seeing a $30,000 year to date um, on the average median price homes. And again, here's a nice little chart. Um, it kind of shows the numbers and that's May, June, July, and August, which are typically, typically higher on single family homes, townhouses and condos, pretty much flat. So when people are saying that the real estate market is crashing or it's going up dramatically, I don't know if I can really agree with this looking at these numbers. And uh, maybe you can draw your own conclusions uh, of what you think. Uh, please leave me a comment below and you know tell me what your thoughts are, okay? So here we are, townhouses and condominiums, 290 this year in October versus 237. Uh, up 22.4% over last year. Now, uh, remember at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a summary on everything and tell you exactly what I think. It does take longer, two and a half months to sell a house versus 1.3 months to sell your townhouse or condominium, which is dramatically going up. So it does seem that the market is slowing, but real estate prices are not, not at this time anyway in October 2022. Now we're looking at Martin County, uh, again, single family homes. Uh, October, of course, we're in October uh, 2022 versus 2021. And we are seeing a 14%, 14.8%, uh, almost 15% increase as the other counties. So it's in line with all the other counties. Uh, October of 2021, you were able to get a medium price home price of about 500 or 495,000. Um, this October, it was 568,250, which is a 14.8% increase over last year. And these are the numbers that I'm looking at here. Now, homes did sell quicker last year over this year because now it's taking almost three months to sell versus one month to sell. So we're looking at almost like 85 days uh, 80 to 85 days uh, versus uh, 30 days to sell a home. But of course, it was a lower price. And as prices go up, home prices uh, or home, um, the time it takes to sell a home actually slows down. So uh, we're moving into townhouses and condominiums. Um, 2022, October 2022 versus October 2021. Uh, what's going on here. And we actually see that we're almost at $300,000 for a median sales price of a townhouse or condominium versus $206,500, or 45.2% increase over last year. Wow, that's a lot. So I don't know what all these doomsdayers are saying about what the real estate market is doing and that it's crashing. Maybe that they hope that it, the real estate market may crash for you know a month until they buy a house and then they it would go straight back up to where it was before. I don't know what their thinking is on that. But again, it's not what's happening, not with these numbers, not with the statistics I'm looking at. And this is collected by the uh, Palm Beach Broward, uh, the Greater Broward Palm Beaches and St. Lucie County Board of Realtors. They combine all their numbers and information and data, and I'm just spewing it out for you with a little bit of interpretation to help you understand it. So 
Does it take longer to sell? Yes, two and a half months, a little over two and a half months versus uh, less than a month last year. But I'm going to tell you why 2021 was such a crazy year in real estate, at least for, for Florida and South Florida at that. So let me go back to Martin County over here. And we can see Martin County, of course, the height was actually August of 660. And it's dropping. And it seems like it's a dramatic drop. But really, it isn't, because if you take all these bumps and things out, you're going to see a pretty much of a steady line here. Um, and it could be just that particular time people were trying to get their kids in school. They were just, um, you know, buying anything and everything that they can. Uh, and now it's starting to stabilize again. Now, remember, May through August is the time people are. Uh, making their move if they have families because they don't want to take their kids out of school and make a move during the school year. Uh, but if you look at the townhouse, um, if you look at the townhouse uh, graph, it's showing that it's pretty steady, steady as it goes. And again, the year to date average of a medium price home is still higher than if you bought at the beginning of the year. So if you bought at the beginning of the year in January, it was 523,175 versus um, 573, almost 574 for uh, year to date. So you're still doing good if you bought in January. And that is the market report for, for Martin County. Let's take a look at St. Lucie County, what happened in St. Lucie County? And we are looking right now at single family homes in the month of October, 2022 versus 2021. What happened? So the medium sale price of a home uh, went from 335,000 to 379,450, which actually is a almost 14% or 13.3% increase over last year, October. Uh, again, taking longer to sell, which is typical. Uh, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. I know these percentages seem high, but I'm gonna go over what happened in 2021, okay? So, Townhouses and condominiums. What happened in October 2022 versus its uh, predecessor year of 2021 in October? Well, uh, we are at almost 300,000 in Port St. Lucie for a medium price townhouse or condominium over last year, this time October, at 245,500, which is a 20.2% increase that's that's a huge increase over last year. So I'm looking month to month, year to year. Uh, is it taking longer to sell? Yes. And it's simply because, you know, the higher the price, the longer it's going to take to sell. So let's do St. Lucie real quick on our graph. Where is it? Right here. St. Lucie. And if you look at the graph, you can see that it's kind of flat. There's no major jumps or anything like that. Um, if you bought in Port St. Lucie in January, the median price of a single family home was 351,000. The year to date average is almost 380,000. And again, you're gonna see the highest numbers right around July as expected because May, June, July, August, is the time that people really actually make their moves. And for townhouses and condominiums, you're looking at an increase as well. If you bought at the beginning of the year, 255 versus 295, you're still realizing a very good profit. So that's the market report for, for St. Lucie County. So now we're coming into what everybody is looking for, Miami-Dade County. What happened in Miami-Dade County? What's going on there? So let's take a look at Miami-Dade. We're looking at single-family homes. Oops, single-family homes uh, for the month of October down here. 
2022 versus 2021 October. What happened? Last year, October, you were able to buy medium sales price of a home was 490,000 versus versus October of this year, 575, which is a 17.3% increase over last year. And again, takes a little longer to sell, but uh, prices are not coming down in Miami. Not with these numbers, not what I'm looking at here. Uh, townhouses and condos, what's going on there? Again, we're looking at 2022 versus October 2021. Um, again, we see an increase again in almost 19%, almost 19% over last year. Uh, these numbers are not falling as people are saying. And actually, uh, the supply of inventory, if we look at it, it took four months last year to sell and 3.8 months uh, this October. Um, medium sales prices, we're, took, we're looking at 19%. So if you're looking at sales prices, let me just check my Miami one. Here we go. So here in Miami, we're looking at if you bought a single family home uh, for 520000 in January, the median sales price is five fifty seven, almost five fifty eight, uh, which is a you know great return on your investment. So real estate is still the most solid thing that I can think of buying uh, here in South Florida. I'm gonna just give you one more quick look, and this is where I live in Jupiter, and look at these crazy numbers. I know that there's a lot of red going on here. And um, the still looking at these numbers, they kind of jump, they bounce a lot here where I live. And this is for medium sales price of homes and average sales prices of homes. Um, real estate here in Jupiter is very, very expensive. Uh, one of the most expensive areas next to Palm Beach, uh, Jupiter Island, Jupiter, Boca Raton, Delray Beach, uh, Wellington, possibly Wellington, are some of the most expensive areas, cities to live here in Palm Beach County. So these numbers do bounce around a little bit, but all in all, uh, it is still pretty steady as we go. Uh, and that is the market report. Now, I wanted to talk to you about my opinion on the market and how it affects, let me go back to our little... Here we go. Our market report, what happened in 2021? Okay, so here is what happened. COVID-19 uh, was uh, introduced to the world on, in December of 2019. So December 2019, they announced there is some kind of virus called COVID-19. Uh, didn't really come to the United States until about February and March. And that's when things started to shut down. So all those people that wanted to buy in 2020 that were locked down, couldn't leave the house, work from home, saved up all their money because they couldn't spend their money on anything. They couldn't go on vacation. They couldn't travel. They couldn't go out to eat. They couldn't do much of anything. Ended up buying in 2021. And all those people that were wanting to buy in 2021 also bought in 2021. So therefore we had twice as many buyers in 2021 as we normally did. Now that has seemed to level out and that is no more, but what happened is those people that were working from home, uh, living in, in their house, did not you know, spend their money on anything, ended up upgrading their house, making it better, putting in new kitchens, new bathrooms, new flooring, new paint, you know, really updating the house um, from, you know, outdated to very modern and new. So as I go out and show homes now, I see a lot more updated homes. I see very little, little homes that are not updated. And um, those homes are, you know, not selling or investors are buying them, putting money into it and rehabbing those homes. So that's what happened in 2021. So when people were come to me and say, 
Why was the real estate market so crazy in 2021? It's because all of the people in 2020 who didn't get to buy bought in 2021. And all those people that wanted to buy in 2021 also bought in 2021. And so we had twice as many buyers in that year. Uh, plus, Florida's restrictions were very light. Um, our governor here in Florida uh, had very little restrictions. And those states that had a lot of restrictions, uh, like New York, New Jersey, we get a lot of New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, Illinois, uh, basically uh, Northwest or Northeast um, states coming down here to Florida to escape the very cold and uh, spend their winters in the tropical climate, uh, ended up staying here a lot longer. Uh, in fact, while working from home, they thought, why am I in New York um, freezing when I can be in Florida and enjoying the sunshine, going out to restaurants, eating and doing all those things with less restrictions? So that's really what happened in 2021. I'm glad you stayed to the end of this video. Uh, stay tuned to our next video, which I'm planning on releasing right before Christmas because the next report does come out. I believe on the 21st of December or November, and I'm really excited to share those numbers with you. Please subscribe, click the like button if you like this video, um, share the video on your social media if you think it will help other people. Um, again, until next time, I am Realtor Mike Thomas, Palm Beach County, Florida.